<laughs> Happy Comic Con at home, everybody. My name is Corey, better known as the Seaman. Man. I want to welcome you to another edition of the Sea Man's Cinema Sit Down. Whew. What a whirlwind of a day, day one was, or day two. I mean, preview day is Wednesday. Today is the official day one of Comic Con at home. And like I said, man, whirlwind. Um, you know, you work all day, and then I get off around like three on the East Coast, which isn't bad. It's only like 12 out by, uh, you know, San Diego, so not too much has happened yet. And just watched a bunch of panels, you know, recorded reactions to things, and then started editing. And the next thing you know, I look down, and it's 1130, and I'm going back to the second panel I watched today. Um, Got to prioritize the things that I think might, you know, have a little bit more buzz, um, unfortunately. <laughs> um but um, I, I really, really did dig uh, this trailer. And then when I watched the panel and understood what it was that they were talking about, I just blanked on it. Um, oh, man, I got so much more excited. So uh, why don't you pull up a chair, take a seat. Uh, we're getting ready to take a look at the teaser trailer for Utopia. Now, uh, like I said, when I jumped into this panel, I didn't really realize what I was getting into. Um, you know, I saw the names uh, like uh, John Cusack and uh, Jessica Roth, um, and I was like, oh, yeah, well, this when I'm going through my list of things on the schedule, boom, I'm gonna make sure I hit this panel. Um, and then, you know, like you realize that the uh, writer um, and creator of the show, uh, Gillian uh, Gillian Flynn, um, you know, is somebody who, you know, has done, um, uh, you know, and then like you're watching and you realize, oh shoot, like uh, Gillian Flynn is the creator and she's on the panel too. Um, and you're talking about somebody who, you know, wrote Gone Girl, which is a movie that I, I love. Um, also Sharp, Sharp Objects on HBO, which I haven't gotten to check out, um, but worked with Steve McQueen on Widows, which was another movie that I really dug. And uh, she mentioned in the panel that like Widows was the thing that really got her set and ready for this movie. Uh, and I, um, oh wait, no, you um, you know, really got her set and ready for this TV show um, that she's doing over at Amazon. And like I said, I didn't realize what it was I was getting into. I was just like attracted to the names. And then, um, you know, you watch the trailer and they started talking about it. And I was like, oh, that's what this is. And all the things that are going on in this show are just right up my alley, man. So before we talk about the end of the panel and what, what goes on in the trailer and what the show's about, uh, why don't we throw it back to the good old past Seaman one last time today um, and take a look um, at the teaser trailer uh, for Utopia. Take it away, past Seaman! What have you done today? Earn your place in this crowded world. Utopia is a story about a rogue scientist who created biological warfare. You have no idea what the end of the world's going to bring. French cut string beans aren't going to save anybody. Ooh. Everything in Utopia is real. Basement scientist inserts himself into viral pandemic. You were told not to raise tensions. Things are getting dangerous. It shouldn't be long now. We all have our purpose. This is yours. All right, fall 2020. <laughs> Thank you, uh, past Seaman. God, you got his reactions today have been on on fire, on point, in my opinion, personally. That's just me. Um, but um, you know, it, it was one of those things. Like, you, if you watch the reaction, um, I, I didn't quite freak out or geek out the way I probably should have if I real would have realized what it was that I was getting into. Um, and the thing with Utopia that I didn't connect was this was uh, formerly a, a British TV show. And I had a buddy at work who had actually mentioned it to me. I was like, oh, that actually kind of sounds cool. Because it's about this group of nerds um, who start, you know, to draw conspiracy theories because things are ha that are happening in the world are happening in this comic book. Um, and, you know, they're just, they're after all the comics to try to piece this together to, I guess, like save the world. The world's going to end type of deal. And it was like one of those things. I was like, oh, man, that's really, really interesting. When that clicked, I was like, oh, 
this show is going to be so dope. And watching the trailer again, all of a sudden it was like so much more stuff in there made sense. Where I was like, oh, that's, yes, I love that. I love that. I mean, you're talking about a, a world where a core of your characters are comic book nerds and they're, all their actions and their things that are motivating them are things that they've read in the comics that they've now seen happen in the world. I'm, I'm just fascinated um, by that whole concept. So I'm really, really excited about that. And like I said, you got a really awesome cast. And it's it's one of those things where it's like watching them on the panel. You know, immediately I was obviously drawn to names like John Cusack and Jessica Roth, um, who I'm very familiar with. Um, you know, John Cusack, who, come on. Um, and Jessica Roth, uh, who's done the uh, Happy Death Day um, movies that I just, I love those things so much. They're so much fun. Um, and, and her character is kind of going to bring some of the things that she's good at doing of, that we've seen in movies, um, which is kind of exciting. But then, like, when you're watching, like, Desmond Borges, I can't wait to see him uh, play this character named Wilson Wilson, which everybody on the panel and myself agree. It's like the best name you could give a character. And for a guy who's kind of like a conspiracy theory nut who lives in a bunker, or, you know, or has a bunker at least, um, like that character I think is going to be really, really interesting. Um, Dan Bird, uh, who's playing this character, Ian, he's one of the nerds. Um, you know, really, really fascinated to see where he's come from. He had a really, really interesting perspective uh, during the panel as far as like where he's coming from because um, he's not necessarily the biggest comic book person um but then you also have uh, ashley the throp becky which is really ian's real pull into the group um and, as well as like i said jessica roth who you know um they said kind of has leadership qualities and stuff she might be like one of the main pieces of that core and then also alongside them um this kid was uh, like he made me excited for the movie because he was awesome during the panel uh javon wana walton um just this really interesting group of like, you know, you have this main core of kind of like comic book nerds and, uh, you know, Javon is talking about his character and how he's like, you know, he tries to manipulate him, use him because all he wants to do is get to utopia. And it's interesting, all the perspectives and the places that the characters are coming from, um, you know, all give them reasons to want to search for this comic book. Um, and it, it, it's just, it's a fascinating concept. And then you throw in the fact that you have, um, uh, for the show, you know, obviously, uh, Gillian talked about how, uh, you know, the show is obviously adapted for America and how she Americanized it and kind of put tweaks into it. And one of the characters, Dr. Kevin Christie, uh, is played by John Cusack made for this version of the show. He wasn't in the British show. Um, but certainly excited to see what he's going to bring to it. Um, and he was certainly excited about the show. You kind of saw him start slow when he got his first question, and he picked up as he started to talk about it. You could tell, like, definitely likes the material. And then Rain Wilson, who's kind of like this, you know, gar garage scientist or basement scientist, um, you know, in the middle of a pandemic, which, like, you know, even they all kind of said it's, like, kind of crazy that they, you, you do this show, you film this whole thing, um, and then an actual pandemic breaks out. Um, you know, she... Gillian talked about how she's been trying to get a thing made for seven years. Um, but anyway, I'm rambling on and on. The panel was awesome, and just all the insight of everybody and what they're bringing uh, just makes me excited for the show and made me go, I wish I would have put all that together. I was just go, go, go today. just didn't click um, before I had seen the trailer because um, definitely watching that second time uh, made me way more excited. So there you go, man. Those are all my thoughts. Uh, I'll put the link for uh, Utopia's uh, panel down below um, in the description so you can check that out because, like I said, it was a really solid panel and just has me psyched for another show um, You know, to drop that looks really, really solid. So uh, Utopia definitely looks like it's going to be right up my alley uh, as far as TV goes. So those those are all my thoughts and reactions on Utopia. Now I want to know what you're thinking, man. Um, you know, did you know what Utopia was coming in off the bat? Did you watch the British version? Um, you know, how connected, how excited are you? Uh, do you not care? Anything you're thinking, what'd you think about the trailer? Did the trailer grip you? Like I said, at the end of that trailer, man, by the time you're starting to see some of those images, and especially when I didn't really know what was going on, and still, it, you don't really know 100% what's going on um, without everything that you were seeing, but just things that sucked you in. I was like, ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, I want to see that. Um, so let me know anything you're thinking about the trailer, um, about Comic-Con at home. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed this Comic-Con at home uh, edition of the C-Man Cinema, sit down, please. Give me a thumbs up, and if you're new, you want to jump over, you know, give me a little love, show a little support, Hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you get alerts. And until next time, for the C Man Cinema, sit down. I'm the C Man, I'm signing off. Peace.
Well, I'll be. You guys are still here. You must be looking for some more content. Well, don't worry. C-Man's got you covered, man. You got videos like this guy and this guy. And if you haven't yet and you want to come check out all the C-Man goodies, join the Cinema Sit-Down Squad, man. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell down below that, too, so you can get alerts every time I make new videos.